Coming up next, I'm going to give you my three favorite fresh fragrances right now. These are all three new or relatively new in the last year that I think have taken fresh fragrances to the next level. You're going to want to see this video. Stay tuned. It's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery, as you can see. And today's video, you heard it, my three favorite fresh fragrances right now. These are three fragrances that have caught my eye. They've caught my nose. They are, I think, kind of next level, great, both entry level for people coming into niche, but also more of a transition. I don't think these are like basic at all. I think these are kind of transition where you want that fragrance that is your everyday fragrance, something that you can grab, put on, wear in different situations. So let's get right into this. Uh, and this is no, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go three, two, one. So my third favorite fresh fragrance right now is the brand new release from Lark, the French niche house. And this is serious. And no pun intended, but this is a serious freshie. This one epitomizes to me that entry level into transitioning into the next level niche fragrance for people coming from the designer world. If you like, you know, think about any of the classic fresh fragrances in the last 10 years in the designer world, whether it be Chanel Blue or uh, Creed Aventus, thinking about, obviously that's not designer, but you like that kind of fresh, intense, spicy, invigorating fragrance. Serious is serious. It's very interesting is too, if you think about their last release, which was Chrysalide, which is one of the most dark, intense, kind of just very, very almost tough to wear for a lot of people who are not true niche lovers. This is the opposite. They, they just completely went in the opposite direction. I like that when a niche house does that, where they can kind of give you a variety. So it really, basically can take you from beginner to advanced level. And Sirius is that fragrance, check it out. Next, and this is the brand new release from Arquiste. This is Lord de Louis. Lord de Louis, look at that bottle. Look at those gold flakes. Wow, this one blew me away. I've talked about Arquiste a lot before. You know this is one of my favorite niche houses. This is an orange blossom, just ugh, intense. It's got that glittery, it's, 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 it's enlivening, it's fresh, it's sexy, it's gold, it's intense, but yet it's still fresh enough to wear on an everyday basis. Arquiste knocked it out of the park again with this one. I've been wearing this one a lot late, lately, just got it on my nose a couple weeks ago, and already just cannot stop smelling it. In fact, let me just spray it right now so you can guys kind of see. Oh yeah, you, you, if you haven't tried this one yet and you haven't seen the bottle, just enjoy. It's almost like a snow globe. It's almost like a gold snow globe. So that is one of my favorites. Then that was number two. I'm gonna go to my favorite fresh fragrance that I wear right now because it is truly a universal every day dumb grab when you're not sure what to wear and that is blue agave from precious liquid uh, first of all check out i love how the perfumer and owner of the brand richard herpin does these bottles a lot of his fragrances have that kind of blue hue to it take a look at that you can see it there obviously it fits it perfect this blue kind of like when I first smelled it, I thought, well, is this gonna be like a more of a marine scent? What does agave smell like? I was really wasn't sure where he was gonna go with this. And then when I wore it for the first time, it's one of these fragrances that I cannot help but grab like multiple times a week. When I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear, maybe I'm just at home in my home office, maybe I'm going to court, maybe I'm putting on a suit, maybe I'm just like going to a lunch meeting, maybe it's a date. This fragrance 
lets you do it all. When you want something where you don't have to overthink about it and you just want to be kind of soothed and have that just wonderful, wonderful, fresh, a little bit sweet, a little bit masculine fragrance. Blue Agave is the one that I have been reaching for the most lately. So there it is. Check that one out. Oh, it looks like I got a photo bomber here. Maurice. Yeah, this is, you know, I don't really know the notes of this perfume. I don't, uh, I don't either. But does um, it matter? It doesn't. Yeah. A little fun fact, this particular perfume, Blue Agave, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a second time he's done this perfume. I, you know what, I think you told me this, uh, I, when I first smelled this a few weeks ago, right? Yeah. What, what is, what, do you remember what the... So I think this is double the concentration of right. the original one. That's right. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a fresh, inviting, um, pleasant perfume that's not trying too hard. It's, I, I like your choice. And I think that when you first spray it because you think, oh, fresh, mm -hmm. it's not going to last that long. It's not going to maybe project. You're going to be very pleasantly surprised. And I guess it's because of the double concentration. This, yeah. is, this thing will last. You will get an all-day wear from this. It is one of those perfumes, though, I have to say that sometimes you may not smell the perfume, but other people around you will. So it's, yeah. it's there. You may not smell it, but other people around you will tell you, look, that smell is amazing. I can smell you from across the room. Yeah, it is. It is. It's good. And while we're here, like, do, do you have a fragrance? You I know, did. I did. Talking I about one of your fresh, fresh, I'm sorry, fresh favorite fragrances right now. So um, I overheard your video yeah. and mm -hmm. I was like, you know, what? let me just come in and I appreciate it. Bomb this video. It so it always makes it better. Yeah. So I have two interesting perfumes oh okay um two nice yeah only two so the first one is tanger and what's interesting about tanger is if you look at the note breakdown all the notes on the top are all fresh and all the notes on the bottom are all like deeper notes like vanilla and uh everything more and amber, everything more heavy. Oh. So all the heavy notes are at the bottom, all the light, fresh, fruity notes are on top. So this is the perfect contradiction. It's called Tanger from Mormon Jane. Love this one. I love this fragrance also. I have not smelled it for probably six months. I remember yeah. when it first came out like a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Just love it. And I that, that contradiction like you're talking about, that contrast mm. is really cool. It's unique. It's like it's it's not a slow gradual. It's almost like you're fresh and then you're dark. It's really cool. Yeah, it is. It's, I, I like it a lot. Um, Good choice. So the my second choice is this perfume. And I have an interesting story to okay. tell about this. It's called Aqua Sapphire. Aqua Sapphire was not my first choice. It was not my second choice third, fourth, and the list okay. goes on. I did not like this perfume. It was something that just didn't sit well with me. But what wow. happens sometimes is you may not like something at first, and then when your brain wrap around what exactly is going on, then you're like, man, this is different. You know what I did not understand about this perfume? Hello, Maurice. <laughs> What's going I on? Just, I just wanted to pay you a visit because I am... Richard! Come on, <laughs> well, <laughs> we have a surprise guest here. For those of you guys, who, come, 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 come on over here and we can all talk. Guys who, who have never met him, this is Richard Herpin, who is the perfumer, creator, the owner of Precious Liquid. And mm. Wow. Yeah, Joel. It's great to see you. Nice to see you again. Yes, I yes. Sometime. I'm sorry I interrupted. You were about That's to say okay. something to, to Maurice. Sorry. Yeah, th yeah, this guy has an extens extensive resume. He's done things for designer houses. Uh, he's done stuff for Tom Ford. Um, Woodward being one of the most famous ones. But he's one of those people that has been putting in work in our little hobby for many years. And we kind of... We kind of appreciate it. You're, 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 you're okay. We, we like you. He's a rock star. He's a rock star. I mean, it is, I, I think I've told you this before, but like one of the like best freshy kind of like cheap fragrances or, you know, whatever cheapies, it was Brooks Brothers, New York. 
yeah, yeah. I think I mentioned this before. It, yeah. I still have it, and I yeah. just love that fragrance. It's just, I don't know, it evokes yeah. these memories of my dad and growing up in the 80s, and it just, it's a wonderful fragrance. Yeah. I just, you know, anyways. Yeah, yeah I remember uh, when, uh, when I, I actually did like something on uh, a Cologne, but I, yeah. I, I put a lot of musk behind on, on that fragrance, so it's nice. like, oh, it's make it like long lasting and, yeah. and, uh, and very fresh and easy to, to, to wear. Classic. You know what would be cool? Huh. What would be cool is if we have Richard give us like, um, you know, some commentary on some of his favorites. But before we do that, I, because I had this on my hand okay. and I was in mid-sentence, um, yeah. real short, I was saying I didn't really love this at first, and the reason why I didn't like it is because I didn't understand what I was smelling. So I didn't understand that, look, it's seaweed and pineapple, and who would have thought that yeah. seaweed and pineapple could even go together no, in a perfume? No. I mean, so, that, that's like pineapple and ham on pizza. That, exactly. Some people love it or they don't. <laughs> so this took me a little while, and now let me tell you something. This is one of, the, one of my most treasured aquatic perfumes. Excellent. So, Excellent. now we can hear from the superstar. Yes. So I'm going to come out of the frame so he can come in. Yeah, so, so Richard, what we, the video we were doing today is we're mm -hmm. just kind of picking three of our favorite uh, fresh fragrances. And I happen to have one from Lark, one from Arquise, and one of your, I guess oh, it's... Oh, wow, Blue it's, Agave. It, it, Blue Agave mm -hmm. to me is, yeah, it, it was my number one choice. I think this one is just... Like I said, it, it, I can wear it in any situation. It's, it's just so easy. It's one of those, as we call a dumb grab, where you at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, mm -hmm. you're looking at all your stuff and you're like, this one is just so easy to put on. It's just so wearable. Yeah, I cannot agree more than with what you are saying. You know, for me, it's like even people who are in situation, like, uh, for example, like, uh, you know, who are at work and they, 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 they don't dare wearing a fragrance. Yeah, because they're afraid. You know. Actually, we get over here a little bit. Yeah, so they're afraid of maybe, uh, maybe they sit close to other people. They don't want to offend anybody. Okay, that's, that's so a big that, concern. That would be like one of the fragrances that I would totally put in, in a, as a very safe fragrance to wear. And even to the gym, you know, like, I mean, yeah. there are people, they, they also don't want to wear fragrance at the gym yeah. because, you know, they think like, oh, it's going to be maybe too strong, maybe a bit offensive. Yeah. And this is definitely another fragrance that uh, I would definitely wear at the gym or wherever you go, uh, you know, even in the morning or you, your commuting time, you are in a, in a train That's next a to yeah, a person, yeah. uh -huh. all of that. For me, it's just like, that smells so fresh and so, you know, it's like a wave of freshness, you know, yeah. and, and it keeps on going and going and going. So I really, I, I, I love it. You, he, know? you know, Maurice was mentioning because this was, you had released this before, is this, and then this is a higher concentration or from the original? Yeah, totally. So it, it, it was like actually one of our best sellers from the classic line. Okay. Um, and we, we just doubled the concentration and added a tiny bit of like those ombre woods to get even more uh, substantivity, long lasting, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and it, it's just like, it's amazing. So people who love the blue agave, they start to buy this one now too. And uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah. it's definitely a safe, uh, very safe one uh, in our line, I would say. And actually, women's like it too. Oh, so really? This one, yeah, this fragrance. Okay, because guys. It's, it's just very fresh, you know? So, so it's just like a blast of freshness. Yeah. You know? So it's not, for me, it's not perfumey at all. It doesn't really like skew too much. Like, it's, it's more like I want freshness. I, that's it, you know? This is like the equivalent of that one piece of clothing you have that you wear all the time because it fits every situation and you know you wear it with confidence mm -hmm. and it's gonna look good. It's gonna impress people, but it's not gonna offend somebody. It's not gonna overpower. It's not gonna make you stand out. It's gonna help you blend in and feel comfortable and, and just comfortable in your own skin. W wonderful fragrance. I, I, yeah, wonderful job on that. I love the, the blast of lime, you know, that mm -hmm. you get on at first. And I put uh, some rum inside too. Oh, so wow. So there's like something like a little bit uh, boozy, but not really yeah. like it's a, uh, and then uh, I have like uh, different qualities of seaweeds. You know, I love uh, working with seaweeds and, and some mossy uh, ma marine accords, you know. Yeah. And uh, in this one, I have like one, 
actually um, I have the red seaweed uh, jungle essence from a man from a company that where I'm, uh, that I'm working for uh -huh. and uh, it's like that that ingredient is like uh, it's really expensive but it's really worth it Oof. it's like uh, it's a beautiful red seaweed uh, that, I, it's the first time so I've ever nice. heard of a red seaweed note. That's amazing. And it's with a company that you're working with. Yeah. So the, it's like, you know, like the, when I love to go to Japanese the restaurants yeah. and you taste, taste all those different seaweeds they yes. have in, yeah. the, in the seaweed salads. Yeah. And they are so Ooh. different from one another, you know, and yeah. I, I love that red seaweed. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. That's oh, amazing. So I have to ask while you're here, what, do you have any like maybe personal fa favorites? That, you know, obviously I'm sure all of them are, but do you have like something that just, you know, really stands out for you as a personal favorite? I mean, I can just say that, um, I mean, like everybody has, I like compliments, you know? So, <laughs> That's funny. I'm not the only one. It's so funny. People are like, well, you know, I don't wear fragrances for compliments. Everyone, I think, appreciates a good compliment. Yeah. Yes. So actually the aqua oud for me oh, is really yeah. a fragrance that yeah. when I've been spraying it, I remember the other day I was walking in the Boca Mall. Um, uh, town Center Mall. Town Center Mall, yeah, that's very sophisticated. Yeah. The mall is like it's a very nice kind of high-end mall in Boca Raton, yeah. And I was walking there and uh, I was going actually checking the Bass and Body Work uh, store, you know? Uh -huh. And uh, the lady who was uh, selling the products there, she came after me and she said, what are you wearing? I want the bottle for myself. I was like, what? Can you imagine that? I mean, I'm just picturing the situation. You're in Bath, Richard Herman is in Bath and Body Works and the salesperson comes up to you and has, of course, no idea who you were. And it's like, what are you wearing? Yeah, it was like uh, awesome because I love those kind of things. Like for me, it, it really tells me like when people spontaneously do those kind of moves, is because they're really in love with the friends. I do it right. sometimes. Sometimes I, I follow someone and I say, what are you wearing? It's really good, you know? And uh, so, um, because I always want to be aware with what people yeah. are wearing and if I really like something, I want to know what it is, you know? Sometimes yeah. I, don't, I don't know, you know? So, because there's so many launches nowadays, you know? There's so, so you many, sure and what, what, but you brought a good point. It's one thing to get a compliment from a friend or a loved one or a spouse or, you know, because, People know you, that they're trying to make you feel good, but when a random stranger in a store that specializes in smells comes up to you and says, what are you wearing? That's pretty amazing, yeah. So, so what, what is it, like, what are the, some of the notes that stand out for you in this? So there, I, I fall in love with um, another uh, raw material the, from a man that is like, actually, I never smelled that before in my life. It was a patchouli absolute. Mm. That is, uh, that is like, I mean, when you see it, like the ingredient is so dark. Yeah. And I put like, I put a fair amount in it. So that's why also the color is different from uh, yeah, the let me color just of our hold other this fragrances. Up. If you can see guys, so this is the, the color there is very different from some of the other fragrances which have that kind of blue color. That is, yeah, you can see, and that's from the patchouli absolute that gives it that 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 color. Yeah, okay. and it's uh, it's amazing the way it smells because I'm always been obsessed with this um, uh, mousse de chêne, you know, oak moss. Oak you know? moss, yeah. So oak moss, the problem is that it's not uh, you cannot put it in fragrances anymore because there are some uh, uh, ingredients in in that oak moss that. Uh, um, for safety reasons, yeah. they, they removed it years ago, and uh, but it's really that the base from those sheep fragrances, yeah. you know, you have that, oak that moss mossy note. green kind of yeah, yeah, and it's like really sexy on on skin. I, I love it. it. Has like actually a little bit of a seaweed note also, and okay. but it's very mysterious, you know. So I wanted to create something with with that that patchouli absolute, and that's all. Then I wanted to to do something. Uh, an aquatic accord that would something that would really bring a lot of freshness to have a kind of a clash between uh, a, a very fresh fragrance with a, with a very deep uh, mysterious scent, you know. So um, and and so far it has been like a great success. Like this aqua oud uh, has been like uh, because it's like. Uh, 
really fresh but super long lasting yeah. so people love that you is know? this one of your better best sellers you think yeah right now i mean it's hard to say because it's a new launch but yeah. so far it's selling like really well like people people have been liking I, it very much i can just say from being in here personally at osme you know i come in here all the time as, as everyone knows it seems like and from talking to maurice and Bavica, the owners here that this is i think what they said basically one of the new launch probably mm -hmm. the best seller so people I mean, seem uh, to really love it the other one that sells really well is the turquoise water. Let's see if we find it. Um, that turquoise water was also a launch uh, this summer, and this one is also, um, it's like more floral, so it's like, um, I would say, more like a women, women's fragrance. Okay. But it has like a very nice woody notes that are like really long lasting. So people really like that about this fragrance. So Choco's water has been doing really well too. So, you know, I mean, uh, so far so good uh, with uh, uh, Maurice now having those fragrances here. So I'm hoping like, you know, that way his clients are going to be able to discover those fragrances, you know. And I, and I think that, you know, when I've, you know, we've met a number of times and talked, I remember you've said in the past that here at Osme, Maurice and Bavica are usually are some of the first stores right in the u.s to get your fragrances totally because i i really uh, now that i'm living here in boca like in the in the miami region uh, florida south florida yeah i'm um, i'm really trying to develop fragrances that really are very persistent in a hot weather because sometimes the the fragrances they tend to evaporate quite quickly with that hot weather yeah so i understand more and more why how to design fragrances specifically for that weather, you know? Oh, that's really fascinating. So, so, I mean, you originally obviously were from France, obviously lived there a long time, and then you were in New York for how long? Oh, like over 20 years in New oh, York. Wow, yeah, wow, yeah. so a long time. And then now South Florida for the last couple of years? Uh, just like a year and a half. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really, I've never thought about that. So as a perfumer, so you, your style kind of changes with where you're living and you adjust to, yeah. the, to the to the climate yeah i mean i did that uh, on purpose to come to a um, to a place where, you know like here people love fragrances because in the hot weather yeah i there's always like some kind of scent you know so whether it's good or bad you know yeah, yeah. so the thing is that really you here like even all the hotels everywhere you know like they they, they, they pump like some nice fragrances yeah uh, you know to to assure that people get like uh, that this uh, beautiful, uh, you know, a kind of uh, first impression, like yeah. when they come in a place or, you know. And something they'll remember when they leave and go back home and they'll mm -hmm. think, okay, that hotel, that beautiful smell. And well, that, that's really, that's great information. I, I never had thought that's so unique. To go back to what you were saying, uh -huh. uh, for example, you see uh, Sangria Oak. Oh, I is, love Sangria Oak, yeah, so, so that's different. A, that's a fragrance that we haven't launched yet. It's not on our website, it's nowhere. And so Maurice has it, he, he gets uh -huh. everything first. <laughs> so there, there you go, you want something that you can't even get on his actual website? Sangria Oak, what else? Are there some others there? Uh, yeah, Iris Sorbet is also like an oh. amazing one. We're about to launch it like before the end of the year, but... Iris uh, Sorbet, so let me just hold this up so everyone can kind of see. That is Iris Sorbet. If you like, I, I smelled this, I remember a few months ago. If you like Iris and that Sorbet note, I mean, it's just so unique. I don't know where you thought of it, thought of these things. Yeah, so they, this, I mean, that, that's like, uh, I don't want to overwhelm, but with the, um, that Iris Sorbet note, is like, I wanted to do something very juicy because I, I, Iris can be a little bit powery, and yeah. so I wanted to completely have some a fragrance, a new twist on an Oris. And we, uh, man has like actually a very good uh, raspberry ah. um, note that's like a CO2 extract. So ah. it's very, it smells like the real, like the fresh raspberry. So I, I, that's why, you know, I wanted to use that ingredient and, and I waited for the right uh, twist to do on that ingre ingredient. So what better to, to take that uh, beautiful fruity raspberry note and uh, and get this uh, very expensive Oris, you know, feel, oh, you yeah. know so. Well, God, I, I love it. If you haven't tried it, come here to Osme and try it, or you can get samples from Maurice and Bavica online. Um, that's really neat. Great. Great.
Wow. I, well, thank you. I, it was great to kind thank of have this in, impromptu meeting and to, to see you here. I thank you for joining my video and giving us some inside information from one of, I mean, uh, guys, this is, you know, he's a legend in the industry, you know, a rock star perfumer and, and brand owner. So it's thank always you. it's great to see you, Richard. Thank you, Joel. I'm so happy that uh, I got to meet you today. You know, yes. I've been always a... Uh, well, I come from time to time to uh, to visit Maurice, you know, here in Miami because he's so close. But I know you're coming too quite often, yeah. so I was like, hopefully I yeah. meet, meet you. Yeah, know. I, yeah. I appreciate it. It was great. And uh, guys, thank you as always for watching. And I, of course, will be back soon with another video, unfortunately. Actually, I'd love to do this again sometime. Well, maybe we schedule time. We can come down and talk about some more of your stuff and, and just the insight that you have is you know, I know everyone would love to hear about. So. Yeah, please. I'm always uh, happy to answer all the questions because, you know, it's like it's a mysterious uh, business where oh, I'm yeah. working in, you know, I, and yeah. it's uh, artistic, but uh, there, there's like the, uh, everything is important, you know, how to create a fragrance, you know, are you, and uh, there's so many mysterious parts uh, of the puzzle, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to uh, answer any oh, question. That's <laughs> awesome. People will love it. So thank you again. And guys, I'll be back soon with another video. See you soon.